What's up everybody? My name is Jason and welcome to Massive Jump and EIDL loan approvals as our brand new logo goes live. It is Thursday, December the 2nd, 2021. Please do me a huge favor, give this video a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to the channel and go find me over on Twitter at TrySmallBiz, username SmallBiz, the name of the company that's about to launch to help grow your small biz. All right, ladies and gentlemen, big game tonight. I got my jersey on. Cowboys are going up against the Saints. We better not lose our fourth and fifth games, or we might as well hand it over to the Washington football team or those Fly Eagle Fly fans. Why in the world did I choose a logo, and what are the reasons behind it, and what is the number one way, based on a comment that I'm going to read out loud, to get you and your family the money you deserve before the end of this year. So ladies and gentlemen, pull up a chair, grab a cup of coffee, ice cold beer, glass of wine, whiskey on a big rock, here we go. Oh, more instant coffee. I got hooked on instant coffee. Sometimes I throw in the Starbucks uh, dark chocolate. Unbelievable combination, but today I just got my Nescafe Columbia a little bit of maple syrup. I like organic maple syrup in my coffee. Heavy cream. Absolutely fantastic. All right, Jason. What is the best way for me to get my money? I've already talked about privacy release forms. I've talked about getting a score.org counselor. I've talked about reaching out to your local SBA. Something Miss Isabel Guzman has repeatedly, including a few days ago, said that you should do if you're not getting your money funded. But let me read this comment right out loud. We're going to cut to the chase today, ladies and gentlemen. This is from a woman. I will call her Nancy for privacy reasons. I will not uh, give her name out loud or last name anyway. Listen to what she says and follow it to a T. And it sounds like something I don't know I've been saying now for 18 months. Jason got approved yesterday in recon since April. So what is that, ladies and gentlemen? Six months at least. Followed all instructions. One, updated my 4506T. I sent my ID front and back. The SBA's form 2202. My self-employed NA, all columns, no business debt. Four, avoided check, front and back, voided of PDF. I got my Buy Burke Business Insurance, the same company that I use, B-I-B-E-R-K.com. Called my congressman twice. You may have to do it more than that. His office contacted the SBA, and then I received a call back from the SBA, something they're not doing, especially with the larger loans now. To make my file a high priority, there is a high priority team. There are some very hardworking people at the SBA that are doing a hell of a lot better job now than they were before. I'll let you decide why in the world is that. I've been pounding Miss Isabel Guzman and the folks over at the SBA to get a better reconsideration process. This high priority team is doing a great job in getting you and your loans processed at a much faster rate. She goes on to say, Nancy. I called every week to check the status. I asked what's missing in my file. I sent in the docs. I called my congressman. I stayed on it. Don't give up. Think positive and give thanks for the opportunity. If you are eligible, by law, they must fund you. Don't give up and do the follow-up. It's all on you. And she says in another comment, it's not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Wasn't that fantastic? Exactly what I've been saying. Six months she's been waiting. We had people yeah, all week long, some waiting nine months, 10 months. They're really speeding it up because the program ends December 31. It will carry over if you have an idle loan increase for a total of two years from the beginning of your first loan last year. Nancy concludes by saying, I was denied twice. Saying not interested. Remember, a lot of you got the email saying that you weren't interested. You never said that. You never called the SBA or sent them an email. Uh, I'm not interested. Why the fuck do you think I've been standing in line along with Nancy and everybody else for the last six months? But they, they had that error. She was hit with unverifiable information, etc. The 4506T, she filled out five times, Sig submitted it at least six or seven times. I did not quit. Don't let your negative thinking, there's a lot of Debbie Downers and snowflakes out there. Some of them hammering me about my logo that I'm about to talk about here in a second. I did not quit. Do not let your negative thinking defeat you. You will get funded if you are legit in all caps. Don't quit. So Nancy, God bless you. Thanks for sticking with me for going on what now? 19 months. I am thrilled that you and your family and your small business, Nancy, which I hope to help grow very, very soon, is going to get the money that you deserve 
generally within two to three weeks tops because there is a small backload. Why is that backlog? Why is that, Jason? Because they've approved a shitload of people in the last couple of weeks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, follow all that advice. Number one way, get on the phone and say, I need to speak to the business advocate or small business advocate in Senator or Congressman or woman such and such's office. You've already done the privacy release, but you must call up and even got to call 10 fucking times. I need to speak to the business advocate. Uh, what is it? Tamika Williams. I think I pronounced that right. She's in the Georgia 5th District right up the street from me. She has got an amazing connection with the SBA. So if you are in the Atlanta area, reach out to Congresswoman Tamika Williams and tell her that I sent you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that's the best way that you can get it done in addition to what Nancy and many, many others have said in the comments now for the last several months. All right, in closing, thank you for sticking with me. If you're curious as to why I chose the logo that you now see on our cover photo of YouTube, it's over on Facebook at Try Small Biz. It's on LinkedIn under the same username. And on Twitter, there is a profile as well as a new cover photo, and I've screwed around with it all day. Folks, I have 300 files. I have templates for everything from mugs to hoodies to towels to newsletters to uh, uh, social stories to cover photos to uh, brochures to invoices. I've got 315 files in three different colors. There's the one that you see now that's an indigo blue there is a black and white one, and there's a blue and light blue one. And people have asked me, why did you choose that color scheme? Well, take a look. Folks, I looked at no less than, I want to say a thousand logos over the last several weeks and months, and nothing would strike a chord. And one thing that I told my friends, and I mentioned this on Twitter today, it's got to be simple, bold, and able to endure the test of time. If you think about Facebook or Google, very simple. The last thing that we need is to have someone look at our logo and go, huh? Now we're blessed. We're beyond blessed. This is why I think it's fucking destiny. Nobody had the, the name Small Biz Incorporated. Can you believe that? Two of the biggest keywords in the fucking entire world, especially when it comes to the small business community, and nobody had it. Fran Tarkenton, Hall of Fame quarterback of the Minnesota Vikings, he's right down the road from me in Buckhead. He had go small biz for the last 25 years. There is a smallbiz.com, but all they do is help you get incorporated. There is nothing about what you guys are gonna see in January when we launch this site. And if that's not enough, there's gonna be a 100% unconditional money back guarantee. Nobody will pay this guy a single dime unless you feel you're getting your money's worth. And I'll talk, talk about that more later, but nowhere in the entire world, let alone this country, have you seen anything like this? There are sites like Shopify, which are fantastic, and Etsy, and you know, uh, you know who they are. But there's nothing that has those elements within a website and soon to be mobile app, and then this motherfucker right here getting behind you and telling thousands of people in newsletters, a podcast that I hope to launch in the first quarter of next year and any other way that I can figure out, I don't know, on a small biz cruise in the next couple of years to tell people, you know what? Ted who uh, sells t-shirts or Sarah, who's a lawyer that helps single mothers get through divorce or Bob, who's one of the most amazing accountants, JJ the CPA, appreciate the reach out on LinkedIn the other day. You know what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. When I get behind you, as I get to know each and every one of you in trust, we'll have a verified system, just like you see on uh, Twitter. And I'm going to have a small biz all-stars team. It's going to be amazing. So if you're watching me right now and you're struggling to get traffic to your website, it's not going to last that much longer. You are going to get amazing amounts of traffic. And some of you are going to make a bloody fucking fortune over the next 5, 10, 20, 30 years and beyond. So again, it's the color scheme. As soon as I saw the indigo blue, it spoke to me. Now, why the rough edges around? If you look at Twitter at Try Small Biz, you'll see the logo up against the light blue backdrop if you scroll down my wall. I'm rough around the edges, right? I'm about as fucking rough around the edges as it gets. And when I was a kid and I played Pop Warner football and any of the fellas out there know exactly what I'm talking about. When you wore your jersey long enough, it started to fade. It started to fade. So yes, there's a shabby chic element 
a, a fade, if you will, a rough around the edges with respect to this very simple yet bold logo. And if that's not enough, I used to live in Florida for many years, about 13 years before I came here in 2007. And I had several trips to the Keys and Key West is one of the most beautiful sunsets you'll ever see in the entire world. And there's a lot of shabby chic down there. My sister's got a lot of shabby chic in her barn and parts of her home. I find it amazing. So it's a combination of these Dallas Cowboy colors. The fact that it took me back to my childhood when I was on the Pop Warner football team and we had faded jerseys. The fact that I am in, uh, rough, rough around the edges and I wanted to have a very simple, bold logo that would endure the test of time. The worst thing that we can have is have somebody look at it and go, what is that? What do they do? We're blessed to have small biz. Our name is our brand. And if we can put it on a photo or a cover photo or a, a stories or whatever the hell else I end up using these logos for, and people go, wow, I get it. I understand it. So to the 12% or thereabouts who said you hated it, literally said they hated it on Twitter, I appreciate the feedback. We love our snowflakes. Sadly, on YouTube now, they don't count the thumbs down anymore. You notice that? It kind of took the wind out of the sails of all the snowflakes who hate my guts. It won't show the, the amount of thumbs down I get on this video. It just throws up. So it's, it's another example of the wussification of this country that we can't take any thumbs down or people telling you that they hate your guts. Folks, in closing, I can tell you this much. The next 12 to 36 months are going to be life-changing. In some respect, it's going to be in your hands. This has the potential to be far greater than the business I already own, which is RemoteSales.com. We have 33 million small business owners in this country. And if you add the side hustlers, it's close to 100 million. What if there was a safe, secure place, not only to promote your business and give me a chance to help amplify the awareness around whatever it is that you sell, but you'll be able to connect and grow literally on a website and soon to be mobile app with thousands and hopefully tens of thousands and someday hundreds of thousands of people. And if I'm going to offer you a money back guarantee over the next 12 months, that if you're not satisfied for any fucking reason, you send me an email, I'll give you all your money back without any questions asked whatsoever. So until next time, I hope I tweak somebody. I hope you're as excited as I am. Always remember that I love each and every one of you. And thank you so much for watching.